guys you welcome to this youtube space um i am whitney highway i do more of easy sewing cutting and um, drafting and i also share important tips you need as a fashion designer and um, seamstress um sometimes i also throw in some lifestyle like relationship talks vlogs and so on just to ease your fashion stress <laughs> So if these are something you like, do well to hit the subscribe button. So in this video, I am going to show you formulas that will be very helpful in your sewing and um, drafting journey. Um, these formulas will help you to get accurate measurements when it comes to armhole depth, bust pan, shoulder to nipple, shoulder to under bust, so on and so forth. So that even if you want to sew for someone overseas or someone um that is it is impossible to do physical measurements for you can still get to you know so a perfect fit for them without going through much uh, axles and worry you get by just getting only the shoulder the balls the under balls the waist hip and length measurement you are good to go and then using these formulas that i'm about to show you to get the rest you are good to go so let's begin so the first thing we are going to you know and the first formula I'm going to show you is the formula on how to get your arm o depth. Arm o depth. So the formula for getting your arm o depth, which is the picture up there, it's um bust divided by that is your measurement, bust measurement divided by six plus one point five. This is the formula to get your arm o depth, and it is very, very accurate. It gives you an accurate arm o depth uh, measurement. So let's say, for example, we have a bust of 36 inches divided by 6. Um, 36 divided by 6. Let's use the calculator. So 36 divided by 6 is going to give us, um, as you can see, 6. So 6 plus 1.5, according to the formula we have there. So 6 plus 1.5 gives us 7.5 so this is the arm hole depth for someone with a bust size of 36 inches this is the arm hole depth to someone of bust size of 36 inches so let's also do another example let's say bust size of 40 inches so 40 divided by 6 so this is another example 40 divided by 6 we have 4.66 um so let's say 4.67 plus 1.5 you can see it gave us 8.17 so this is the ham or depth for someone with a bust size of 40 inches now let's get to do another um example as well yes so let's say a larger bust size of um 48 inches so let's get the ham or depth so 48 divided by 6 it gives you 8 plus 1.5 you're going to get 8 plus 1.5 you're going to get 9.5 9.5 so this 9.5 is it is the arm o, uh, arm o depth for someone with a bust size of 48 inches so let me just write it so you understand better so the first one is um um the first example and you know the second one the second example different bust sizes so when you want to calculate your arm o depth make sure you impute your bust measurement on the bust and divide by six plus 1.5 so this is the simple formula to get your accurate arm o depth so next we are going um, to see the formula for calculating the bust span or nipple to nipple is also your boss pan is also referred to as your nipple to nipple measurement yeah so you already know that um your nipple to nipple measurement is very very important when it comes to drafting um especially when it comes to that placement of that yes it's this whatever you get um from your nipple to nipple is where you place your dart be it your corset dart or your princess dart so the formula is bust divided by eight minus one so this is the formula for calculating your nipple to nipple 
measurement to get accurate if you can measure no problem but if you can't no problem you can use this formula so we're going to give example now let's say we have a bus size of 36 so 36 divided by 8 is going to give us 36 let's do a calculator divided by 8 gives us 4.5 minus 1 gives us 3.5 so for a bus size of 36 inches um, your dart placement should be on 3.5 inches. That is your nipple to nipple measurement when your fabric is on fold. On fold. So for a bust size of 40, let's say 40 divided by 8 minus 1 gives us 4 inches. So for a bust size of 40, your dart placement should be on 4 inches. 4 inches. Yes, that's your dart mark um, line. So uh, we're going to give a third example here. Um, let's say, okay, let me just name this A, B. So example C, um, let's say we have a bust size of 48, which is bigger, divided by 8. So 48, um, let me indicate minus 1 so you, you, know, you don't get confused. So 48 divided by, 48 divided by 8 gives us 6 minus 1 gives us 5 so for a bust size of 48 um, the nipple to nipple measurement is on 5 inches so this is just the measurements this is the formula for getting your bust span or your nipple to nipple measurements yeah so once you, you put in your bust measurement here on this bust place and then you divide by 8 minus 1 you get your nipple to nipple um, measurements when it's on fold yes when it's on fold okay so the next formula on the line is our shoulder to um, nipple also referred to as the bust point um, measurement yes they are the same thing so to get um, your shoulder to um, nipple like the picture you're seeing there yes that's how you measure it if you want to measure so in case you're unable to measure to get it you divide your bust by four then you had one plus one your bust divided by four plus one that is how you get your shoulder to nipple or your bust points yes so we're going to um do some examples now we're going to you know carry out some examples now so let's say we have a bust um size of um okay let's say 36 i like using 36 because the small bus divided by four so 36 divided by four gives us nine and of course nine plus one gives you ten so use your calculator to confirm gives you ten so as you can see ten inches so that's your nipple from the thighs from your shoulder to your nipple is ten inches your shoulder to nipple is 10 inches for a 36 inches uh, bust size. So let's carry out another example. Let's say a bust size of 39 that is still larger divided by 4 plus 1. So 39 divided by 4 plus 1 gives us 10.75. So this is the nipple. Um, this is the bust point of a bust size of 39 inches. This is the bust point of 39 inches bust size. So example C, um, let's use a bigger bust. So let's say 48 divided by 4 plus 1. So here yeah, while imputing um, the numbers on the calculator, I made a mistake by calculating for um, bust size of 49. So this was a mistake on my part. So for the 48 divided by 4 plus 1, we have just 13 inches, not 13.25. We have 13 inches. So this is the formula to get, to get your shoulder to your nipple measurement. Yes, also referred to as your bust point. This is the formula um, which is bust divided by 4 plus um, plus one bust divided by four plus one so next is from your shoulder to under bust under bust underneath the breast 
under your breast yes so from your shoulder to under your breast from your shoulder to underneath the breast so for this um we have just um few um two few tricks yeah so for a bust of um smaller size yes a smaller bust you had three inches to the measurement you got from your bust point that is the measurement you got from your shoulder to your nipple you had just three inches for a smaller bust to get your shoulder to under bust i don't know if you understand um for a smaller bust add three inches to the measurement you got from your bust point that's from the previous calculation we just did so you had three inches for a smaller bust so um in our previous um calculate um calculation that we did you can see that um the busts um smaller bust as 10 inches as the um um, what was it called as 10 inches as the bust point as the measurements we got from the shoulder to nipple yes so you know 36 is a small bust size 36 inches is a small bust size so we're going to use that for this example because it's a smaller bust it's a small bust so so as you can see the example i am doing right now um the bust of 36 in our previous um, bust point calculation at 10 inches. So 10 inches plus this 3 inches because 36 inches bust size is a small bust. So you add 3 inches to a small bust. So we have 13 inches. So this is the under bust of a, the shoulder to under bust of a bust size of 36. So for a fuller bust, you add four inches to your bust point measurement four inches for a fuller bust meaning a big bust you add four inches to your bust point measurement so in our previous calculation uh, for bust points you know the um big bust day is 48 inches yes the big bust size day is 48 inches so um bust points um, we got for the bust size of 48 inches was 13 inches that's the correct answer 13 inches so 13 plus 4 gives you 17 inches you know i already made a mistake while doing this calculation um why doing this calculation so you know uh -huh. so pardon my mistake please thank you <laughs> so um 17 inches is the um shoulder to under bust measurement for a bust size of 48 inches you understand so this is just how you calculate from your shoulder to under bust it's as simple as this so next is um how to get your shoulder to your waist um, line to get to your shoulder to your waist, it's very simple. Just add three inches to whatever you got from your shoulder to your under bust measurement. That's it. There's no two ways about it. So, you know, um, for a bust size of 36 in our previous calculation, we got 13 inches. So, you had three inches to that 30 inches that is from your shoulder to under bust for a bust size of 36. You had three inches to that 13 inches, you get your waist yes your waistline so that's just it so the next formula is on how to get your neck um width and neck depth your neck depth and neck width how to get a regular neck depth and neck width a regular one when i mean regular a uh, normal one i mean let me indicate it i mean getting your normal round neck so if you are getting a if you want a keno neck or a v neck or a deep back and all of those things this formula does not apply this is just for a normal regular neckline so the uh, formula is bust divided by eight plus one divided by two so this is the so um for example and um, let's say a bust um size that is for example 
let's say a bust um size of um of 39 inches so we'll see 39 inches divided by 8 a bust size of 39 so 39 divided by 8 gives us 4.89 4.89 plus 1 that will be 5.89 so 5.89 so divide um divided by 2 so 5.89 divided by 2 i hope you understand all those formulas that i have given so far so what we'll get from this is 2.9 inches so this measurement if i want a regular um, um neck um, depth and neck width i can go ahead and use this 2.9 inches um, so this is example a so let's say example b let's say bust size of 36 inches so 36 divided by 8 plus 1 divided by 2 it gives us divided by 2 gives us 2.75 inches so this is the normal regular neck depth and neck width for a bust size of 36 what about a bust size of 38 a large bust um, so that is 48 divided by 8 plus 1 divided by 2 so that gives us 3 points five inches so um this is it guys so i'm just going to explain further to you guys so let's say this is our pattern paper this line that i just drawn is our pattern paper as you can see this boss that i just drawn is a pattern paper mm -hmm. so after you know determining your shoulder your arm or a uh, depth and all of that next thing you would want to do is to mark out your neckline right so let's say we are using the neckline of um, a bust size of 48 inches which is um, the 3.5 so you mark out your 3.5 for the back and you know now for a normal back for the depth it's one point um, five for back, normal back um, neckline so for the front neckline there's a small roll applied to it so whatever you got from your neck depth and neck width calculation if you want to mark out your front depth you had 0 0.25 which is 2 over 8 so 2 divided by 8 gives you 0 0.25 so you mark out your neck depth your normal neck depth you mark it out your normal neck depth you mark it out which is the 3.5 inches then after marking it out you also add 0 0.25 inches you had 0 0.25 inches so that is just the simple rule i hope this was you know quite understandable so that is just it for a normal regular neck line so if you've watched to the extent of this video and if this video was helpful to you do well to you know hit the subscribe button like share and comment down below so see you on my next video love ya mm.